I got my girl Tate McCray with me. Hello. We just had the campfire sessions, our first ever campfire sessions for 1075 The River. And you did phenomenal. Why, oh, thank you. I have to say, like, not that I'm shocked because you have a gorgeous voice, but I've seen all these videos of you on tour. Uh-huh. And everyone is yelling so loud that you have to scream <laughs> sing for anyone to hear you. Yeah, you can't hear anything. It's <laughs> crazy. Every, like, everyone's convinced that I do. Sorry. <laughs> Um, Don't lose that. Everyone's convinced that I'm not singing on tour, and I'm like, guys, I'm literally singing so loud. You're just singing louder than me. Every video I've seen has just been the fans singing, and they yeah. sound great. I they will say, really fans, good. you're doing a great job. They are doing good, <laughs> but I can't hear you, so I'm like, you have to try and scream sing. Yeah, no, I'm pushing. How do you hard have a voice? Too. I I don't know how to have a voice. I've been doing really good warm ups before my <laughs> my sets. That's the key. The warm ups are the key. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's going through your mind when you're doing a live performance? Because your shows look crazy like you got choreography going you got everybody singing and screaming the lyrics to your song which has to be insane for you yeah it's wild um they've been so crazy i think i wasn't expecting my fans to be like this like rowdy (laughs) but they're so rowdy and i i think it's it's like always a shock because i'm you always think the show is just going to be exactly how you like planned it and then there's like so many things that go into it like when you look at look at someone and you talk to people and you're like, you know, everyone's screaming it, 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 the adrenaline is crazy. Has anything gone wrong on stage thus far? So much. Um, <laughs> What's always. the craziest thing that's happened on stage that you were like, well, that wasn't planned, but we're going to roll with it. Mic pack's falling off. I've had, you know, people fainting in the audience, oh, which sucks. That's, yeah, so be scary. Hard. I always have mini heart attacks every time it happens. Um, our whole like system is shut down before like all the of, like, whole thing everything like the guitars the drums like my mic shuts off and i was like sorry guys one sec <laughs> that's got to be like how do you focus in those moments where you're like okay just do you just go like okay breathe like things go wrong what are we gonna do about it well it's funny because it all feels like a fever dream a bit every time you get on stage so okay. i don't even have time to get embarrassed <laughs> so i'm like my brain doesn't even process it i'm just like holding sorry <laughs> No embarrassment is a good way to go, though, right. because, I mean, I'm sure more things are going to go wrong. I hope nothing goes wrong. <laughs> I hope but not you know either. what? That's life. So I'm sure there will be you little roll mix, with mix ups and you're just going to have to roll with it. Yep. That's a true professional. Thank you. Look at you being professional. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so your debut album, yeah. I Used to Think I Could Fly, mm-hmm. comes out May 27th. Yes. Where did the meaning behind this title come from? Like, who clipped your wings? Do they want to fight? Like, what's <laughs> going on here? <laughs> like, um, It's been something I've wanted to talk about for a really long time. It's honestly just the idea of, like, growing up and getting slapped in the face with the reality. Um, oh, yeah. Kind Get of that. How, you know, when you're younger, you, like, think anything's possible. You have no insecurities. You have no fears yet. Like, how could you be scared of heights when you've, you know, never gone in a high building? You know what I mean? Right. Like, and so there's so many things that you grow up and you realize and it's it's just like funny because I turned 18 and moved to LA and like so many things happened that I never had experienced before. So I like wanted to talk about it. I actually love that because the one thing that I always focus on is like I used to be so fearless when I was younger. Right. And I still feel like I'm somewhat fearless, but there's moments where I second guess myself where I never used to second guess. Totally. I, I just mean, go for it. You used to just like flip in the middle of the grass. Yeah. And like do shit that you're like I would never even try that now and you know when you're younger right, you second like, guess it now you've no you've no brain which is which is sometimes better adulthood is crap it is <laughs> this is ridiculous <laughs> i did not sign up for this <laughs> no so i kind of love where that comes from actually thank you i was i'm so happy it's not somebody that i gotta go find and like fight them no. because they like made you feel like you couldn't fly girl because you're flying <laughs> thank you <laughs> like, let's just be honest thank you so last time we talked you said that you have a hard time locking down songs for your album yeah because you have so many and for each song you you go through like 28 different types yeah. of like melodies and beats and lyrics and you just have a really hard time being like this is the one this is it like I'm good with this yeah I mean I literally was just talking in the car saying being like I wish I would have added this song to the set and I wish I would have added this and I have so many songs I could have chosen a totally different set list not set list Ooh, track I'm list, <laughs> track list. Um, I could have chosen a totally different like album like I have that many songs but it's kind of just like with what my gut was that day, which who knows if it was right or not, but you know, I just have to go with it. So how many tracks do we have on the album? We have 12. 12. Okay. Yeah. So which one would you say is your favorite? Oh, I don't know. Probably. <laughs> She's like, can I say it? She's looking Honestly, around. <laughs> I like the, I like the third track. The, okay. Ooh, see, you're good. You're like, I'm not even going to say the title of the no. third one. The third track. Okay. Keep that in mind. Third, third track. track off the album yeah. is the favorite. I like it. Can you tell me why it's your favorite? 
uh, without giving too much away it gets and getting yourself in trouble. It gets out your aggression. Uh-huh. Is there like screamo in it? It's not screamo. It's just like... I would die for some Tate McRae screamo. <laughs> I'm telling you right it's now. coming soon. <laughs> I would die for that. Everyone, I think everybody would like that, right, guys? A little Tate McRae screamo. <laughs> All right, so I need some details on your song with Phineas. Oh, yeah. He had just tweeted that you guys have a song together. Yeah, so... How did that happen? Well, so we don't have a song together. Okay. Me and him wrote together. Okay, even better. Which is so fun. So I honestly just, like, he was like, I want to write with you. So I went over to his house one day, and we just uh, whipped out the last track on my album. Some uh, internet detectives think it's I Will Say Goodnight is the name of the track. Well... A, that's not even a title on the <laughs> No, someone I saw like three people on Twitter say that, so I'm like, I gotta ask, I gotta know. Um, no. And I had detectives, you're wrong. <laughs> you're so wrong. You're so wrong. <laughs> You'll have to see it when the album comes out. So you said it's the last track on the it's album. the last track. Okay, I'm excited to hear it. Yeah, I'm We excited. know that he's, you know, he's got his chops. He's, he knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah, I told him I wanted to sound like the end of a movie, like when the credits are rolling, and he like nailed it. Okay. Absolutely crushed it, production-wise. I love that. Yeah. Okay, now this one is a listener question, and I felt like it was really important to bring up. They want to know, like, how do you find your confidence? Oof. I think, honestly, it's like doing things that I genuinely enjoy and I feel like I can thrive in, I think, and then being around people that, you know, make me feel good. I think if you're around the wrong people and you're in awkward and weird situations, that's when you're going to feel the most on edge. Um, but I think, like, confidence is something you gotta find for like years mm -hmm. and I think that that's still something that I struggle to find every day um it just honestly depends on my mood <laughs> depends <laughs> on if I'm gonna feel confident or not hey that's real as hell because I think we all go through that where one day we're like yo I'm that bitch and then the next day you're right. like why do I hate everything maybe even hours I'm <laughs> yeah. like I'm that bitch one hour later I'm like fuck <laughs> Where did she go? That's not her anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. I'm so excited to hear the album. I'm most excited for track three and 12 because right. there's 12, right? Right. So three and 12, most excited for those. Hell yeah. May 27th. Cannot wait. I'm excited. Thank you so much.